Department in Florida is already testing out the new self-driving technology, part of a first-in-the-nation pilot program. Chris Van Cleef has more. This could be the police car of the future showing up behind you one day. The Miami-Dade Sheriff's Office is testing the nation's first self-driving patrol car. You'd need 20 deputies to do everything this vehicle is doing. Sheriff Rosie Cordero Stutz says that's because in a year it can log about the same number of uninterrupted patrol hours as all those deputies combined. Does this replace a deputy on the street? This does not replace a deputy. This augments our ability to serve our community. So it's not quite RoboCop. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> this is really what I believe the integration of technology into law enforcement, what, what we will see as the future of law enforcement across this country. It made a dramatic entrance at its unveiling this fall. They call it PUG, short for Police Unmanned Ground. It comes equipped with all the technology needed to operate as a self-driving car, as well as thermal imaging, 360-degree cameras, and its own drone that can act as an eye in the sky, all sent back live to a police command center. Soon, it'll be equipped with license plate readers and a way for the public to contact live deputies. PUG was built and donated by the nonprofit Policing Lab. This is a self-driving police car. It is. Right now, the vehicle's operating itself. It took us and Policing Lab managing partner Sean Malinowski for a drive. The promise of this technology is that you can use an autonomous vehicle now to give you presence in the community. So we know police presence deters crime. So is this like, hey Siri, go police? <laughs> No, uh, I think we're going to want to have a little more control on it than that. For now, the cruiser, that while free to the sheriff's office, would cost upwards of $200,000, will have a deputy on board acting as a safety driver. It's intended to operate on a pre-programmed patrol route and will eventually operate unmanned. First thing that went through my mind is, how does a self-driving police car pull me over? Like, if I'm speeding, <laughs> what happens? Well, it's not going to pull you over. We still need actual live deputies for that to happen. But what it will do is document the entire process. People recognize that this is a patrol vehicle. When you see a patrol vehicle in your rearview mirror, you slow down. And make the sheriff's presence known around town with or without a deputy behind the wheel. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Miami.